Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at what might be one of the greatest travel trailers I've ever seen. I'm walking through this unit and it is just checking off the boxes, one at a time. A phenomenal unit at a phenomenal price. This is the 2023 Primetime Tracer, model 28 BHS. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Tracer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at the awesome Primetime Tracer. Again, so many things I look for in a travel trailer and they were just checking off the boxes with this one. Before I begin, let's say hi to Will. Hey guys. All right, let's begin. No, I'm just kidding. What's going on? Not much guys, super excited to take a look at this. It's really nice to have like a, a little bit of a better bill, yep. higher end, but bunkhouse. Yep. You know, with some nice finishes. So I'm excited to show everybody. Exactly, and still, and still trying to keep the weight down. Yeah, and the price at a good price. Exactly. Well, model is 28 BHS, primetime tracer. The actual tip to tip length is 33 feet 8 inches. The dry weight 6,263 pounds, and the hitch weight is 770 pounds. Well, this is the primetime tracer. It is not the tracer LE. Right. It's different. LE is lesser edition and it's made to be less. Price-wise too. Yep. This one's made to be a lot better. Nice folded fi molded fiberglass front cap. The LED lights there, black diamond plate rock guard. Right up here, power tongue jack from Lippert. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go there. Well, this is absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. And it's real aerodynamic, you know right. what I'm saying? Coming on down the side here, it is prepped for the Furion side camera lights. Okay. Slam latch doors. Nice. With storage right underneath there. Cool. And then check this out, Will. Electric stabilizing jacks. Right. Very nice. I love that. Coming on down, we do have a nice place to leash up your dog on the outside. Huge power awning with LED lights. Right. Speakers on the outside. Propane quick connect underneath here. And then here we got a little fridge. Cool. Ever chill. I love this. For all my beer drinkers, that's just where you keep your beer. But Will, if we had this unit, what would we keep in there? Um, I don't know, what? Dog food. Oh yeah, probably. You know, you don't want that stinky dog food contaminating the main fridge. Right. So I love that. Coming on down the side here, uh, power and coax on the outside. You can mount a 40 inch television. Um, laminated side walls, floors and slide outs. And then look at these tires, Will, they're the Goodyear tires. I love those. ST205-75 R14 with Dexter axles right there. Nice. A lot of good stuff coming on here, Will. Right. Solid steps, nice grab handle, extended season camping package, and a beer opener. Psh, America. America. John Cena. There you go. Heck yeah. Look at this little bit of storage, Will. You can okay. never have enough. Right. Water heater right there. And uh, just a very, very nice unit. Coming around the back, well, we have a nice bumper in the store, stinky, stinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier, trailer king spare tire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Furion backup camera. Dude, I'm not even knocking them for this. I would do the same thing, but it's not a knock when it's trailer king. Right. Good year, but it is a plus when it is the good year. Right, you know right. And then check this out. Man. Whoa, well, look at the inside. I love that. But look at the inside. That's a beautiful unit. It year. is. Really is nice. All right. Finishing up, Will. 50 amp service. Here's your sewer connection right there. Okay. Cable driven slide out. Another sewer connection. Nice. Dude, I'm telling you, Will. This just checks off all these boxes it that does, I'm looking I for. know. City water connection, black tank flush, battery disconnect, potable water fill, potable, potable. Outdoor shower, everything. Cool. Well, well, the outside of this tracer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Are they trying to pull it? 
Check it out. Okay. All right, starting up front. Nice bedroom here. Kitchen, dining area in the middle. Towards the back is your living area. Then all the way in the back on the left is your box. And on the right is the bathroom. Where are we starting today? Uh, we're gonna start back here, Well, And before we do, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lipper customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Well, we're starting back here. We're going to skip to the good part. Okay. Look at these bunk beds. The reason why I love these bunk beds is because you don't need to have kids to get this travel trail. Right. This only takes up 10% space, so you still have everything else. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then this clips in right up here. Just like that. Double over double, very, very nice. Over here is the sofa for the main living room. Very nice sofa. Is it comfy? Windows all the way around. Really comfortable and nice. And then... Is it a trifle? It doesn't... Okay, no. it's a pull-out couch. It's a pull-out couch. <laughs> nice. So it... Why should I explain it, Will? When you can just show it? I'm trying to explain it, you know why? Why? Because sometimes I'm a lazy bones. Right. When really, don't tell us, sell us. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what we should do one day? What? Check this out. We should, you know how like those people beg for money on like TikTok? Yeah. We should like just throw up like our cash app one day. All right. Just to see what happens. Bada bing, bada boom, Will. Very easy and nice, nice sleeping experience. It's not super comfortable, but it's not uncomfortable. Well, this is what is used for the non-paying customers. That's right. So it's for your guests and you like them enough that you want them to sleep in your RV. Yep. But you don't want them to travel around the whole country with you. That's right. So mission complete. Across from there is the TV. Summit TV, very nice. Little shelving right there, I'm digging it. Solid surface countertop right here. Sound system. And then right underneath the sound system is a fireplace. What is nice about that fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. Yep. And then over here, Will, in the dinette, we got some storage underneath there. Okay. Some storage underneath there. Nice. Little dinette, Will. The table actually looks pretty good size. Looks a little tight though. Feels a little tight. Yeah. Totally 100% okay. acceptable. Um, but it's just not like the best dinette in the world. I Definitely hear. not the worst. We got some Art, Art Deco light fixtures up there. Overall, really, really good at a phenomenal price. And speaking of price, Will. Uh huh. Do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this unit here is $56,683. Will, that is MSRP. Nice. Sale price, we have it 30% off to a sale price of $39,999. Will, that is fan-freaking-tastic. Yeah, now, here's sure. what I will say. 
That is for stock number 282323. This stock number only. If right. you guys are interested, please go to generalrv.com slash madscash. I've linked the website down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969-4033. If this unit sold, that price might be gone. Right. No matter what, we're here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. But if this unit isn't gone, we can get you that price. Or quite possibly, well, if this unit is gone, we might be able to get you the next one at that price. No promises. Don't say Matt said. Right. Matt only said it on this unit here. And once it's gone, it's gone. Regardless, Will, here's what I do know. We sell prime time at all 14 locations, and we will never lose a deal on a prime time tracer. So reach out to us. That's right. And before you do, Will, always make sure it has not one, but two air conditioning units. Can't forget it. Love that. Show us this kitchen. All right. Closet space and pantry space here. Yes, sir. And we also forgot this over here earlier. What's that? Oh. So this is probably more bathroom space, but you could use it as pantry space if needed. Or kids wardrobe space. Exactly. <clears throat> here you have a ever chilled 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. This is a compressor fridge. So it cools off very, very quick. Man, so that's just colder. from the batteries. It is, and it's already cold in here. Over here, you have a nice little Furion microwave. Oh, yep, very nice. Furion range hood right there. Hood range. Nice backsplash right there. And a three burner Furion cooktop with the blue lights and oven. Wow. Furion, oh, they even got the Furion AC, but they oh, went man, ever chill. Oh, they do, huh? Mm -mm -mm. All they needed was Furion. Yep. Refrigerator. We got storage up top here. Yes, sir. Nice window on your camping side. A little bit of countertop space here. Nice solid surface. And then you got some drawers all the way down. Yes. And you get down here too. Very nice. Coming back up top, storage here. Yes. Nice big single bowl sink with a faucet right there. Okay. And some storage underneath. Very nice. There you go. Let's flip it in reverse it. We'll go stand in that shower. Okay. For those of you who don't know, Willis is staggering, six foot three. He's a behemoth of a man. <laughs> he makes grown men look like boy children. Will, look at that shower. Really nice big shower. So it's sad because unfortunately it's gonna fail because the head height is really Really? Bad. It's too high of a step. And it, it's too high of a step, but the width and depth is very good and I love that seat in there. Um, but yeah, that's unfortunate. But you know the rules, Will. Yeah. You pass them when you know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. No wind pass now. Plastic toilet. Good in a good position. But my butt's on plastic. Since it's not on porcelain, it does not get the pass. Test. That's right. There you go. You know, Tom Zachary's watching this right now, just making fun of me. I know. Tom, I'm sorry for embarrassing you. Just He's just embarrassed from association of just knowing me. Yeah, probably. And I'm singing a song right now, and All right. I apologize. My sink, no storage underneath the sink. You know what, Tom? That's what you should be embarrassed about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice uh, sink right here. Mirror medicine cabinet. And then, oh, Liquify! Our brand of black tank chemical. Guys, that's the absolute best. You can get that on Amazon or go to primepoopposition.com. It will liquefy your waste in your black tank making it so you can dump it easy, and it makes your RV smell like oranges. There you go. Well, let's check out this master bedroom. Okay. Coming on in here, queen size bed, walk around bed. Nice. Check this out, we got storage here. Okay. Little drawer here, open concept there. Yep, I And love then what that. do we got on that side? On this side, we have a nice closet here. Yes. Pretty much the same thing, storage there, yep. nice side table, and you do have power over here. You got a little nook, nook corner on over there. On both sides. Yep. And then here, storage underneath here. It also does come with the TST tire pressure monitoring system and everything. Cool. Well, well, the out, um, not the outside. Well, well, that's it, that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this unit, three things we don't like. Well, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? First. It's gonna be hard. I, I couldn't think of any. I have one. You go first. Did we have any outside? 
I don't think so. Dang. But what I'll say is these countertops uh, are very small. Yep. And they should have done a nice big flip up here. Yes. I like how it's not coming out too far because then it would make it feel tight. Yep. But having that flip up, especially if they did a good size oh, one yeah. that's flush, would have been really nice. I concur with that. That's number one. Well, I do have three. Okay. Number two, I didn't like the dinette. Yeah. Um, it's a little too tight. It's a little too tight. And you know what? It's possibly me. It's possibly you. But at the same time, it's just like... I don't even want to strike it for being like a bad dinette, but it's not like a great dinette. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yep. That's number two. And then, well, number three for me, this is one of the most beautiful travel trailers in this price point, period. Yep. Look, look at the cabinetry and everything. Yep. And then they're going to ruin it with these. I know. I don't oh, like those don't shades. Don't like them. Um, you know, an MCD slow rise shades would have been extra brownie points. And then if they would have had the slow rise gray ones, oh my God. Right. That would have been... Forget about it. Forget about it. That's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about it. Will, you go first. Three things we love. I'm going to say I absolutely love this flip-up bed. Yes. Here. Yes. Um, you can store bikes, kayaks, and especially with this floor plan, like, if you have something really long, you oh, can yeah. just stretch it out through here. I love that. Not only that, Will, again, it's a bunkhouse unit, and it oh, only... I forgot something. Uh-oh. Oh! little secret storage little there secret storage nice job will um but not only that well this is a bunkhouse unit and it only takes up 10 percent of the rv right right so i love that that's number one well number two i'm gonna say a like that i've never had okay two ac units mm -hmm. in the living room right normally one's in the bedroom one's in the living room so if you are a sensitive sleeper it's ducted to the, it's going to be a quieter sleeping experience right. in the bedroom. Yeah. I just think that's different and I like that. I like different. So that's number two. And then number three, well, we're going outside. Okay. Number three, what's really important for me when it comes to a travel trailer is the electric stabilizing jacks, power awning with LED lights and the Goodyear endurance tires. I you know agree. What I'm yeah. I, I think this is all very important stuff. And I like how they did that. And the solid stuff. Right. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in this travel trailer, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way you can. Our team's here to help get everybody the absolute best price in America. Well, what say you? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, I really like um, how they optioned this with some higher end features, but it's still a bunkhouse, great for families. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this floor plan. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.